We're going to do a quick lesson here about ellipses on pages 19 through 21 of page 1129. And again, this is following another template <clears throat> to find some key points that we can put on the graph and then we can just connect the dots and have the graph. So an ellipsis looks like it might look like an oval to you, okay? Technically, it's not an oval. Um, and it could be oriented either this way or it could be oriented going this way. And down through the middle and, and across the middle this way are two axes, a semi. Um, well, anyways, the terminology is there in the pace. I'll let you read that. <clears throat> Let's take one of the problems here and walk through the steps together to see uh, what all is involved. Make sure you study the examples on page um, 19 and 20. But on page 21, we have this one. Now notice in all, both of these cases, we want to end, we have an x squared and a y squared term. <clears throat> but we want to set this equal to 1. So the way we make it equal to 1 is we want to divide both sides by whatever this number is. Okay? And by doing that, that will become 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. And then we're going to reduce this. So 144 divided into, divided by 9, we get 1, and we get 36. Um, did I say 16 there? I wonder if I copied that one down wrong. 16... <clears throat> no, that's right. All right, let me uh, just double check here on the handy dandy calculator. 144 divided by 9 is not 36, it's 16. Duh. All right. So then over here, <clears throat> when we divide 144 by the 16, we're going to get 9. Okay, and that often happens that whatever this coefficient is here, that's going to become the coefficient, the number down here. This coefficient becomes the denominator here. All right. <clears throat> so let me just simplify this. We have x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. Okay. Now, because this second number over here is greater than this, we have to use this form here because A has to be greater than B. So we're going to use this template. And <clears throat> B squared is going to equal 9. B squared equals 9, which means B equals 3. Okay? And then that means that the a squared is going to equal 16, uh, oops, excuse me, wake up, equal 4, the square root of 16, okay? So that's the hardest part. From that point on, you can find the vertices by just taking the value for a. So a was 16, a squared was 16, a is 4. Take the 4 and plug it in here, and then negative 4. And then we're going to have the other one be 3, 0, and negative 3, 0. Okay? So notice that the 3's are going to be a little bit closer here, and this is going to be 4, a little bit longer of an axis. Then, to find the focus, the foci, okay, we're going to take... We're going to have to solve for C. So we take A squared, which is the 16, <clears throat> and subtract the 9, okay, which gives us uh, 7. Yep. So C squared equals 7. So that means C equals the square root of 7. And let me grab my calculator again because I believe they want us to... Take that out to two decimal places. So that's approximately 2.65. All right. So if you were, to, so we could just write that, you know, C equals 2.65. And then uh, they give you a graph, graph paper on this? Yeah, they give you graphs and you're supposed to label that point. So you can estimate then where the focus would be um, on the axis. 
All right, so again, this looks intimidating when you first look at it, all those letters and the formulas, and it looks confusing. The problems they give you are not that hard, and um, it's just a matter of the first step is dividing by whatever this constant is. You do it all the way across the board, make sure these coefficients become one on the top, so you're dividing by that. And that is your a squared and b squared term. And then from there, it's easy to solve for a and b. Just plug into the template. Again, just add that to your list of um, formulas that you can use when you do your checkup, self-test, and paste tests. It's, it's a lot of information to just memorize, but you should be very familiar with finding the correct one and then following the template to get to the correct answer. All right, good luck.